So the fifth point, this keyword can be passed as an argument to the constructor or method call. This program demonstrates that this keyword can be passed as an argument to the method call. We have defined a class this demo. There is a method display which accepts object of type this demo. There is a method show and we have main method. The execution of the program will start from the main method. We have created object of type this demo. This demo t1 equal to new this demo. So as soon as you create the object, memory is allocated to the object. Reference variable t1 is created on the stack and actual object is created on the heap. And we have not declared instance variables in our class. Therefore, object is not having any data. Also, we have not written the code for any constructor. In this case, when there is no constructor in your class, compiler will include the code for default constructor on your behalf. Next statement is called to show method. Show is a non-static method, hence we need to call it using an object. We are using object t1. t1.show will give a call to show method. So from here, control will go to the definition of show method. The first statement over here is call to display method. Display is a non-static method. We are not using any object to call display method. In this case, compiler will add this line of code, this dot display. And if you look at the signature of display method, it is accepting an object of type this demo. So we need to pass object of type this demo. But instead of creating a new object, we are passing this keyword. This keyword refers to the current object. Hence, we are passing this keyword as an argument to the method call. So what is the current object? The current object is t1 on which we have invoked show method. We are passing t1 as an argument to the display method. From here, control of the program will go to display method and the argument we have passed, that is object t1, will be assigned to this local variable td. Local variable td is of type this demo and we are assigning object t1 to this local variable td. So inside the stack memory, there is a section reserved for local variables of display method. Hence, reference variable of type this demo will be created inside the stack memory area and td is equal to t1. We are passing object t1 to this reference variable td. So a new object is not created. What happens is reference variable td will start pointing towards the same object to which t1 is pointing. t1 is pointing to this memory location td will also start pointing to the same memory location. So there are two references t1 and td pointing towards same object. So after the parameter td gets its object, code inside display will execute and this statement will be printed. So inside display function will be printed to the output screen. Control will come back and next statement is executed. That is system.out.println inside show function. This will be printed to the output screen. Control will come back and the program will terminate.